Focus on the output of your work and not your stress over your boss. Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. I have a PhD in clinical psychology and I'm here for you on Local Now. Can we talk about toxic bosses? I don't even need to define this person, do I? Let's see, they're manipulative, they gossip, they criticize, uh, they're not there either physically or mentally or emotionally, they're disconnected. They care very much about short-term optics, but not you or long-term goals. I think we've all had a toxic boss at some point in our lives. I want you to imagine who they are and what they're doing. First of all, they're very, very, very insecure and they're worried. So keeping that in mind, try not to challenge them too much and don't get defensive. And more than anything, mm -hmm, be brave, kiss the ring. You're gonna have to do it with a boss like this. But here are five things that you can do to make your own mental health better while you're dealing with a toxic boss. First, shift your focus from your boss to the work, the work you're doing. Be productive, reach out to other people in the company, try to create collaborations with them. Focus on the output of your work and not your stress over your boss. Take detailed notes, yes, in front of them. Whenever they give you instructions, just simply say, I wanna write this down so I get it right, or let me take some notes in my phone so we have it. This has a dual purpose. One, it makes them a little more careful about their words because they know you're writing it down. And secondly, they know you're keeping a record and you could report them. Number three, don't be afraid to use strong body language. By that, I don't mean threatening body language. I just mean that toxic bosses thrive when people cower, when people are afraid, when people look up. So don't be afraid to stand tall and be honest and open and pleasant, but there. Number four, build a network. I promise you, if your boss is being toxic to you, he or she is being toxic to other people too. Find some allies, share stories, and support each other in this environment. And five, probably the most important, don't be afraid to report this boss to upper management or HR. The only way in large industrial systems that bad apples get thrown out is after multiple reports come from different sources. Use the example of sexual harassment and the Me Too movement. It's only because so many women came forward and then HR could build a case around multiple reports. So it's really important that you don't keep quiet. In the meantime, take care of your own health. After work, make sure you exercise, you meditate, you call somebody who loves you just because it's you. Don't get down about this. It's not your fault. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh for Local Now. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. You can always follow me on my social media at Dr. Wendy Walsh. See you soon.